We're given this table where f is a continuous function. We want to see which of the following statements could be false. Part 8 by the intermediate value theorem applied to f on the closed interval from 2 to 5. There's a value c such that f of c is 10. Well, let's see what that looks like. So if I were to draw this at 2, f is 1. At 5, f is 31. So we know by the intermediate value theorem that at some point we're going to have to cross the value 10. Okay, so somewhere in between 2 to 5, the intermediate value theorem guarantees that we're going to cross 10. So A is true. B, by the mean value theorem applied to F, on the closed interval, there's a value C such that F prime of C is 10. So first of all, the only condition that we're given is that F is continuous. We do not know if it's differentiable. The condition for the mean value theorem is F being continuous on the closed interval and differentiable on the open interval. I do not know if it's differentiable. We're not given that. So we cannot assume B is true. Okay. For C, by the extreme value theorem applied to F, on the closed interval, there's a value of C such that F of C is less than or equal to F of X for all X in the closed interval. So this basically is saying it, um, there's a minimum Right, so if f of c is less than or equal to all the values of f of x in an interval, that means there exists a minimum. And this is true. Okay. Because if it's continuous and it's closed, we know the minimum, we know that the minimum exists. And the reason we know that is because it's continuous. And you're given a finite bound. Similarly with part D, we're looking at f of c being greater than or equal to f of x. That means there exists a maximum. So for any closed interval that is continuous, there's always going to be a minimum and a maximum. So that's by the extreme value theorem. So c and d are, are true. Now, the question asks which of the following statements could be false, and that that is b.